yeah hi winners hope you are doing great so i'm just going to give uh, the major checklist for all the students who are preparing for the entrance exam related to the module 4 okay so our module 4 includes the major scoring subjects from examination point of view that is particularly to the neat okay so most of your major scoring exams will be in the module 4 okay the scorings will be <laughs> somewhere around like oral path oral medicine plus forensic odontology will carry 14 plus 7 okay so oral pathology is 14 and medicine is going to carry 7 plus score so it's going to be 21 22 and coming to the general medicine is 14 i mean 14 to 15 plus general path 7 and physio 7 and followed by general pharmacology 7 plus dental pharmacology 7 covid 19 assuming it is creating the uh, trend setting okay trend setting and the hot topic uh, in the world so assuming that they are going to give a decent number of questions on covid 19 at least like uh, three to four or more than that okay so unpredictable that is because last year need we doesn't have uh, covid 19 related stuff but this year definitely you will have questions on covid 19 and microbiology is going to be somewhere around 7 to 10 why uh, my main concern is 7 to 10 is uh, according to the neat blueprint it is not oral pathology it is oral pathology plus oral microbiology so again microbiology questions can come in oral pathology also infection related stuff so that is the reason why i dropped 7 to 10 marks for micro so i mean like you have 23 days for your uh, neat exam and uh, you have 29 days for your INICAT. so this is a combined plan so right so you have 23 days for neat okay and uh, 29 days for INICAT. so one main request uh, from my side okay so this is going to enhance your preparation is i want you to spend as much time as possible for the preparation i don't know how 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 far you are up to okay so previously you may be like interns they have started initially with six hours then drifted to eight after completing internship now they are hitting 10 to 12 hours but my kind suggestion for all of you is spend as much time as possible i don't want to mention a particular figure but if you are hitting 12 and staying at home or staying in uh, the institute or staying in the library or staying in the study rooms and you're reading make sure you try to hit as much as you can apart from six hours of sleeping time and two to three hours of miscellaneous okay uh, miscellaneous and a, and, a, and, a, and a multiple breaks of one to two hours please try to spend a quality of time as much time as possible till you reach that exam so if there are any chances by which you can improve the uh, time that you spend with the book during this particular 23 29 days if there is any chance please please guys okay spend that quality of time because this is going to fetch you something great and extraordinary okay so this is 23 29 days are very very important crucial days that's going to modify all your preparation and of course coming to module 4 module 4 is going to be a game changer so i'm going to tell what are the mandatory things that you have to do being a student of mds conquer regarding the module module 4 okay most of you are scared about subjects like general medicine subjects like pharmacology subjects like physiology i hope like rest general path micro oral medicine oral path and forensic odontology you can handle but i feel like most of you because after talking to you or dealing uh, many students from the past seven to eight years what i feel like students has lots of phobia towards pharmacology lots of decent phobia towards physio medicine and uh, yeah these are the main things that we are phobic and main reason why most of us have that phobia towards the general medicine is we don't read it properly or people they don't teach us properly so that is the main concern okay so keeping these three things in the mind so i just want to go with the checklist of each and every one so i'm going to start with oral um, i'm going to start with oral pathology okay uh, oral pathology plus oral medicine so first of all we'll try to go with oral path and oral medicine so coming to this oral path and oral medicine the mandatory things that you have to do are the most commons okay it's not questions on most commons okay so whenever the paper setter is planning to give a case based question or an associated question he's going to pick the most common in the list for example he's planning to give a question on skin diseases 
his focus will be most on lichen planus followed by femfigus followed by sle okay you have most common skin diseases familiar skin diseases so his primary pick means 90 percentage of the cases he is going to pick a question more than 90 95 percentage of the cases he is going to pick a question on the most common similarly if he is planning to give a question on cyst his first choice is going to be okc dentiserous cyst radicular cyst and jumping into the nasopalatin cyst gbc or uh, i mean these are the areas where he love to ask questions for example he is planning to go for tumors odontogenic tumors definitely his choice is going to be amyloblastoma or odontoma or cevot or avot so this is what the mindset of any any paper setter and make sure like as we are assuming that there will be a lengthy question paper with most of the case based questions related to the clinical subjects so it's better you approach and be perfect with as much content as possible related to a particular most common questions okay so this is a common sense that you need to apply when you are reading oral path oral medicine or when you are reading the general medicine also okay what is what what are my concerns sir where where you can get all these comments the smart videos of all the subjects okay that are available on the website are clearly reflecting the most comments and similarly the quick revision videos and the live pro classes the the live classes whatever the mentors that are taking nowadays okay related to the subject or the quick revision videos are mostly focusing defining on the most common areas so the checklist what you have to do is apart from the dental pulse synopsis of these subjects dental pulse synopsis because most of the dental pulse synopsis of oral path and oral medicine are tables and single liners now now the question paper is not drifting towards the single liners but these single liners are going to be the clues in identifying your lengthy case based question so these single liners they act as clues and these clues will answer the case based questions is it clear this right so this is the one that you have to make it as mandatory second one is all your quick revision videos quick revision videos <laughs> okay the next one is whatever the classes classes uh, the ma'am is taking or whatever the classes that are going through online whatever the content that is being shared on your telegram last minute revision group telegram group or whatsapp group okay or your pro live sessions so all these areas are mandatory that you have to finish it and make sure you try to finish the pp books content of these three oral path oral medicine and radiology combination so these are the main important aspects and wherever you are not clear okay try to see the diagrams like you have pezet this is cotton wool appearance is same are you clear how a cotton wool appearance will appear like okay actinomycosis sun ray appearance or uh, molar colonies molar shape colonies are you familiar or not if you are not familiar go back and see the diagrams because neat 2021 has shown more than 40 diagrams out of 240 means 1/6 of your question paper moves around the diagrams around the contents of diagrams so it is mandatory that you have to see as many diagrams as possible related to this particular subject so this is all about the oral path and oral medicine so jumping into the next subject that is general medicine so general medicine what is my concern is try to finish your smart videos and try to finish the quick revision videos available and try to solve as many questions it's very difficult for you to open high standard books of general medicine and to revise in this last few days so it is mandatory that you have to go through the quick revision uh, videos followed by the smart uh, videos content what you have prepared previously like for example if i'm talking about cvs cardiovascular system i'm more concerned about hypertension i'm more concerned about uh, uh, like congenital heart diseases i am more concerned about rheumatic heart fever i am more concerned about uh, endocarditis okay so these are the choice like left heart failure right heart failure differences so these are the areas where the paper setter will first pick the questions okay right so please try to finish all the contents like do more mcqs 
one side finish all the contents that is your smart videos notes quick revision notes and what are the classes the mentors are going to plan in this particular module along with that try to solve as many questions as possible and of course the golden principle is try to be clear with the concepts which are given from at least like 2014-15 until 2021 so 2000 14 15 to 2021 all the questions given in this particular uh, subject or a particular topic you should be clear the recent questions either you can pick these recent questions from the website or either you can pick these questions from the dental pulse and make sure you try to be clear with the concepts and everything related to these particular topics because papacitis will always focus on the common areas questions may or may not be repeated same questions but same concepts will be repeated so you should be very clean and clear about this general medicine come to general pathology so general pathology if you jump into the general pathology necrosis apoptosis uh, you have the calcifications different types of calcifications different types of necrosis and make sure you try to be clear with the uh, uh, with the diagrams of the histological diagrams of the necrosis okay try to be clear with the histological diagrams of lung like how squamous cell carcinoma look like okay so basic uh, covid 19 how the histology will look like covid 19 how the radiographs will look like so all these contents were properly covered so please go back and check all these areas because there are high chances that they're going to ask questions on this and similarly liver hepatitis how it looks like okay liver cirrhosis how the gross gross diagram of the liver uh, that is taken out from the uh, patient okay who has who has a death due to liver cirrhosis okay spleen liver kidney okay so heart lungs and all these histology basic most common histo histological pics as well as the counterpart of it that is counterpart it means the gross specimen part i hope you remember your general pathology department used to have the pathology specimens which are stored in the formula in a glass bottles so such diagrams they are going to ask and these diagrams you can extract from the robinson textbook which is a most standard textbook of general pathology right so papacitis they allow to ask questions on these areas so try to be clear apart from that okay make sure you try to be clear with the genetics genetics is nothing but first important area of the genetics is of course the syndromes and second one is the mode of inheritance and i hope most of you are familiar with the mode of inheritance examples and everything which are given in the power play book volume three first three pages apart from this there is something called as diagram based about the mode of inheritance okay they're, they're, these are called as pedigree diagrams so they can ask you pedigree diagrams they can ask you karyotype based diagrams okay so be familiar karyotype based diagrams or pedigree pedigree chart mode of inheritance based diagrams basing upon which you have to conclude whether it is an autosomal dominant or a recessive or x-linked dominant or x-linked recessive basing upon that you have to identify the example or you have to calculate the mode of inheritance from one generation to the next generation so all these areas are very conceptual things and they are very very important and similarly general medicine there is one more conceptual aspect that you have to make a note that is your uh, metabolic alkalosis metabolic acidosis and respiratory alkalosis and respiratory acidosis so these areas were properly covered in the videos okay you have meningitis different types of meningitis conceptual video so all these you have to be perfect because these are the most common areas that the paper setter nowadays are picking the questions and drawing out your face in the examination right so jumping into the next subject i want to stress on is microbiology so divide the microbiology because a part of microbiology will be dealt in general pathology so so first one is microbiology i want to talk about immunology okay in which you're going to talk about the different types of immune cells and different types of hypersensitivities your type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type 5 hypersensitives different types of immune mechanisms that is immune mechanisms are nothing but natural immunity artificial immunity all these examples vaccinations are very very important nowadays the world is moving around vaccination covid vaccinations are most important apart from the covid vaccination normal vaccinations are important examples of vaccinations when to be given where to be given what live vaccination skilled vaccinations all about vaccinations has to be done immunoglobulins all the immunoglobulins all the all the differences between different types of immunoglobulins you have a video okay i hope you have prepared the notes immunoglobulins has to be done. these are going to come under immune system then jumping into the immune system then you have to go for the bacterial bacterial growth curves and basics of all the bacterial culture mediums of bacteria apart from that 
in the smart videos we tried our best to cover 10 important bacteria where most of your questions will move viruses you have somewhere 8 to 10 viruses uh, herpes simplex varicella zoyster epstein barr virus hepatitis is very very important hiv is important now covid 19 has been added to the list so next come to the fungus out of fungus uh, the most important for us is candiasis mucoramycosis now the trend changing definitely you'll have a question on mucoramycosis histoplasmosis and all these are the basic fungus that you have to learn and of course these two are very very important coming to the parasitology is not much important but we need to learn about malaria top to bottom okay apart from malaria entamoeba entamoeba histolytica uh, ocularia brancrafti tinea solium okay so ankylostome okay so these are the important parasites that you have to learn the i mean apart from the basic recent questions which are given in the examinations you have to be clear with all this microbiology related stuff mandatory must read stuff so jumping into the micro we are done general path general medicine oral path oral medicine of course covid 19 uh, ma'am has tried her uh, best to cover many many things related to the covid 19 so i want you to be very clear with the covid 19 basic stuff okay which were covered in the classes and which were covered in the videos which are available in the covid 19 folder community related stuff general path related stuff uh, radiographic features pharmacology related stuff pathophysiology uh, precautions to be taken disinfection to be done dental point of view everything were covered in the videos so go back check those videos because there are high chances these are going to be the bounces because these are not properly covered in any sort of mcq book available in the country so the thing is whatever that is being discussed whatever that is being done will be new to every student and these are the scoring areas where you can dominate your competitors in the list so jumping into the next part that is your pharmacology so already discussed pharmacology so let's make pharmacology pharmacology is something like you have to divide and rule so two parts of pharmacology are one is general pharmacology second one is dental pharmacology so dental pharmacology is a bit easy what are included in dental pharmacology local anesthesia so you have three to four questions on local anesthesia in the recent 2021 question paper right next one is jumping into the second one general anesthesia so general anesthesia you have five to six gases where you have to learn 10 to 15 points about each and every gas the color coding the pin index values the blood coefficient values what where are the um, choice okay for example there is a specific case a is of kid under this neurosurgery what is the general anesthesia of choice you have to pick so all these are very i mean drug of choice a general anesthesia of choice for a particular case with this particular disease or abnormality is, is a regularly or a frequent aspirin similarly stages of general anesthesia all these four stages four subtypes where what is happening each and every stage all these areas are very very important for an examination point of view so then then comes the antibiotics so chemotherapy let's call it as chemotherapy out of chemotherapy antibiotics are very important your penicillins cephalosporins tetracyclines macrolids uh, antiviral antiretroviral antifungal so all these are very very important anti-malaria drugs anti-tb drugs anti-tb drugs is one of the most common area where the papacitors are giving questions so chemotherapy antibiotics are more important when compared to the regular common chemotherapy so you, your focus should be more on these uh, areas okay so apart from the drug interactions so we have drug interactions there are few drug interactions that you have to dental drug interactions dental drug interactions are very important 2018 we have four questions on dental drug reactions 2019 we have two questions 2020 we have decent number of questions one or two on these areas so it's very important you should be very very familiar with the drug interactions and followed by you should be familiar with all the emergency drugs all the emergency drugs for example if i'm talking about git i'm more concerned about what are the drugs that are used for a gastric ulcer peptic ulcer what are the drugs that are used for a peptic ulcer proton pump inhibitors h2 blockers antacids so these are the basic things that you should be familiar again when you are jumping into the uh, renal system i'll be more about i'm more concerned about the diuretics more concerned about the diuretics when i'm jumping into the endocrinology i'm more concerned about the diabetic drugs i'm more concerned about the thyroid drugs i'm more concerned about the thyroid replacements okay so these are the areas where the questions were frequently being given so emergency part also you should be familiar so coming to general pharmacology that's what i'm telling general pharmacology try to stick on to the most common areas 
of general medicine with their pharmacology treatment for example that's what i'm talking my main concern when i'm talking about uh, uh, git is definitely peptic ulcer hepatology definitely it is hepatitis so try to be familiar with what are the drugs and drugs of choices what are that are given for the peptic ulcer and followed by what are the drugs that are given for your hepatitis and all these things so similarly in every system you try to be confident or perfect with these areas which are more than sufficient to crack more scorings in the examination i hope the, the the things are clear apart from that you have to be very very clear and keen with your general uh, pharmacology so that is completely conceptual things okay what is zero kinetics what is first order kinetics what is difference between these two and what are the drugs which follow these zero order kinetics okay and followed by you have many things sir. like uh, you have uh, like you have inhibition different types of inhibitions competitive inhibitor non competitive inhibitor what are the drugs what are the examples which comes under competitive what are the drugs which comes under non competitive inhibitors apart from this what are these uh, rare drugs what are these orphan drugs examples of orphan drugs so apart from this there are many 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 other things of uh general pharmacology that you have to do in the chapter particularly about the studies phases trials phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 and there are lots of things that you have to conceptually read in general pharmacology okay so i hope you are clear with because these are properly covered in everything in the smart videos as well as the quick revision videos right so so this is all about uh, the plan of action for module 4 try to increase as much time as possible and try to follow the uh, suggestions which are given on the group uh, respectively time beingly and try to follow them okay coming to the physiology physiology i want you to stick on to the dental pulse synopsis because all the basics of uh, physiology were properly covered okay for example if i am talking about endocrinology all the hormones what are the abnormalities associated with the hormones what happens if it is increased what happens if it is decreased if i am talking about lungs what are primary respiratory centers secondary respiratory centers what are these lung volumes lung capacitance everything were properly covered everything were well organized so please try to finish the uh, general uh, i mean like physiology synopsis okay and try to finish the general pathology synopsis and uh, try to cover your power play books tables okay most of the tables of power play books were taken from harrison davidson and robinson okay so uh, we tried our best to include as many tables as possible where the questions are most frequently repeated related to general path general medicine and pharmacology with physiology so please try to spend a good quality of time and simultaneously solve as many questions as possible and try to attend the videos try to attend the classes even if you miss the class by mistake because of this ramzan season or x y z factors because of things in the family make sure you try to uh, see the recorded version because most of your questions will move around the contents what the mentors are teaching you in this limited time taking their time out okay so that's all from my side related to the module 4 hope you're doing good and great uh, i'm open to uh, uh, like call you back okay please if you really need my help or my suggestions or my support Uh, from any aspect the team is open you can just drop me a message like whenever i'm free i'm going to call you back and i'm going to talk to you okay so let's do this let's work for this 23 29 days and i want everyone to be successful and i want everyone to get the desirable rank what you are working from okay so and this this batch is very special to me because uh, i have seen so many things associated with the batch covid Uh, your exams being postponed you are being irritated you are being called to the college you back to homes so again called to the college many things happen and this is the batch in my 8 years of experience who has spent the longest bond and the longest duration of time we almost have uh, a bonding of more than like the people who have started on the day one of this batch were almost like 16 months okay 16 17 18 months it's a very very huge 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 bond and the bond should have a d 